So today we're gonna be working on this little <laughs> little curly do or whatever this short curly bob wig or whatever from Tanache Hair. Okay, all the details about this hair down below in the description box and in the next little slide we're gonna show y'all. Okay, y'all. So the company that we're working with today is Tanache Hair. Thank you, Tanache, for partnering with me today. So in your box, you get this cute little satin bag, y'all, which is really good for traveling with your wigs. And inside your bag, you're going to get this cute satin bonnet, which, uh, girl, y'all know we love our bonnets, girl. You get your wig caps, um, which two comes in a pack. You also get like a little pamphlet that tells you like how to take care of your hair. And you also get these bomb lashes. Oh, my God. These were so cute also you get your wig which is an eight inch curly short wig um 13 by 4 lace frontal wig so this is how the wig comes with all of the protective gear and stuff on it right here i'm showing you guys the knots they were very very tiny so which should be easy to bleach and everything so this is how the inside of the wig looks you have like four combs uh two on the sides one at the top and one at the bottom and here we go i'm also gonna be showing y'all how to fix a wig that is way too small for your head. Sometimes we get wigs, we just be like, oh my God, I just paid for this wig, but it's too small, I don't feel like I can throw the wig. No, girl, don't throw that wig away. I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna show you how to fix it, sis. Like, I'm gonna show you. After you watch this video, it's gonna fit. I'm telling you, okay? I got you, you know I got you. Let's go ahead and get on into this video. What's up, y'all? I'm Miss Y'all. So, y'all, right now, I'm just, I got some alcohol, and I'm about to, like, clean up this makeup or whatever uh, all around my forehead so I can, you know, y'all know the drill, okay? So, y'all, I really miss you guys. I really miss doing YouTube and doing my videos and stuff. I've just been having so much going on, especially, like, when you have your own business. It's kind of, like, hard to kind of, like, I guess, balance it all. It's not hard, it's just I'm trying to adjust and learn how to make it all work. Now that I clean off my forehead, I'm going to use some got to be gel to pull back my edges because, girl, like, I'm, I'm going to be cutting lace and stuff and I need my edges. So, I need all that to be pushed back. mess up my makeup it's gonna be annoying let me go ahead and cut these holes out for my ears even though i don't have those i don't have a what's this thing called a ear lobe i don't have ear lobes y'all so my stuff never like hold up <laughs> it's okay because god made me perfect okay he made me perfect he just forgot my ear lobes girl so i'm gonna be using some got to be spray to spray around my hairline because i just want this to be like molded down and stuff i like to like make sure my cap is like really stretched out so this part could be really thin and i kind of guide it with my fingers so where i don't have to first of all i don't want to mess up my makeup and then second like you know after i have to pull this up it's gonna hurt and i don't want to be you know hurting myself so Now we blow dry. Everything is dry except this side right here. So I'm going to cut this side first. And then I'm going to cut the middle. Oh, Lord, look at that line. That's so annoying. Cut this side. I'm going to finish drying this side. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut this cap off. I'm gonna put it back some a little bit because I don't want it to be too far down on my forehead. Yo, one of my biggest struggles with like doing hair now is that like, I think I have a pretty decent sized forehead when it comes to wigs and stuff. So I really don't have to do too much of like molding and fixing stuff to fit my head. Um, but like, you know, when you're doing hair, you have people come with all different type of foreheads and hairlines and stuff like that. So I think that was one of my biggest struggles was just like kind of learning how to do 
you know, other people hair with different hairlines and stuff. Oh, well. Whew. So this is the wig. I went ahead and um, bleached the knots. I didn't really do a good job. Let me show you. Can it focus? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into this wig, sissy poo. Okay, first of all, I've never done short curly hair, so I'm really nervous about that, and I'm also thinking about changing that, but we're going to get into that. Also, um, I think I really like this wig. The only thing I really, 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 really don't like is that this lace is so dark. Literally like black. It's like dark, dark, dark gray. I don't know how I'm going to fix that or make this look natural with that type of lace. And it came like this. That's the only thing I'm really not feeling about this wig. I, see, I showed y'all in the beginning the combs and stuff. I'm actually going to cut the combs out because I, I just feel like I don't need it. And it kind of gets in the way sometimes. So I'm going to take my razor and just kind of like cut it off. Or razor it off or whatever. Because like I just don't think I need it. So... The adjustable straps which they are really good for like you know making sure like the wig is secured and stuff in the back i'm gonna go ahead and clamp them to the bottom of the wig um just so they like out the way and this little piece of lace at the bottom of the wig i'm gonna go ahead and cut that off because i just don't need it and i'm gonna try this wig on before i do anything else with my cap just to see like how it fits or whatever. Woo! God. It's looking like one of my empty wigs right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, all right, so let me make sure it match up with everything, like where I would place it. Y'all see my cap? You kinda can see my cap? Yeah. So that's why I'm kinda like measuring it, make sure it could fit. It feels a little small. Yeah, cause see when I pull this side down to match, then this side goes up and it's kind of like a tug of war to get it to fit. But that's no problem because I'm going to show you today exactly how to fix a small wig. So the size that is small is on the sides. So what I'm going to do is, I'm, so I'm going to go to this side of the wig. I'm going to look and see where the lace meets the wig. So I'm going to get my red tail comb, right? And wherever the lace of the wig meets the actual cap of the wig, I'm going to part that on the side. I'm separating the hair from the lace from the hair on the wig. I, I don't want to cut the wig because, you know, the wig is sewn together some type of way. And I don't want to, you know, disrupt that. I don't want to I don't want to cut any threads or anything, anything like that where the whole wig starts falling apart, girl. I just want to part where the lace is. So the lace starts right above this point right here. It starts right above this point. So I want to make sure I'm parting right above that part. All right. So now, now you can see clearly where the lace start and where the wig start. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut right along that line. I like to just do like a finger length, like my index finger length. Hey, Y'all, I am so sorry about Chance right now because I don't I don't know what's his problem today, but he's just been on one, okay? This one has been making all of that noise right here. Yeah. Why? So now that we have this line of separation, I'm gonna just go ahead and cut it um just a little down that line. So all right, so I'm gonna just cut, literally just cut down that line. Just about that much that I've cut, okay? Oh, that look kind of big. It looks big, but it's not big, I promise you. Like, it's, <laughs> it looks big. It looks really big, but I promise you, it's not that big. 
So I'm literally going to do the exact same thing to this side. Then I'm going to just grab my hands and kind of pull out any extra hair or whatever that might fall, you know, because we did cut the lace or whatever. So now this is what your wig should look like. Look like. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna show you how now it's gonna fit my head. So let me go ahead and put it on just like regular before. All right. I'm gonna pull the front down. And now this side, see, the rest of the wig is back here. The rest of the wig is back here, but now I could pull this side all the way down like this. All right. And let me show you, I could do the exact same thing on this side now. So you can see what I'm talking about. So you can see what I'm talking about, girl. Pull that back. All right. So now the lace could come all the way down over here. And now the lace could come all the way down over here. So now, pull it down. Now it fits on both sides. <laughs> Look, can you see anything? Like, you literally can't even see that the wig is split. You can't even see it. So now I know that my wig fits now. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and give me some makeup and put it all over my cap. So I need to clean up my forehead because I need to clean up again because you know, I got makeup on it again or whatever. Y'all, I'm really nervous about this lace. And you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? Okay. I, I, just can't, I just feel like I just came up with a bright idea. Like, I just feel like I'm fine. Okay. Okay. So, I think instead of putting, like, the makeup that I just put on my cap, instead of putting that on there, I think I'm going to mix it with a color that's a little lighter. So, I'm going to do these two but mainly the lighter one, just so that that dark lace can kind of brighten up a little bit more. And I'm gonna just kind of like mush it into my lace, like press it into the lace like that. And the hairline look a little better now, y'all. It look a little better. We'll see, y'all. All right, y'all, so the glue that I, uh, 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 yeah. Glue that I'm gonna be using today is the Bold Hold Extreme Cream. Thing, baby, my thing. I like to do small little light taps around a cap first and like this is just kind of to mold my cap. Never part of the cap that was sticking up or whatever like now it's, it's all gonna lay down flat um because it's being glued down. So now for the good stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna put some more glue now, nah, baby. This one we gonna glue glue. Make sure you put them ear tabs, cause baby, that be the first thing to come up is the the ear tabs. So you wanna make sure you really, you know, do what you gotta do with them ear tabs, baby. This not really row number three this kind of like row number two because row number one was just like a molding type of thing you want to make sure it's real smooth it out smooth it out okay make sure all that glue everything is smooth you don't see no lines no lumps no bumps and make sure you get the ears <laughs> This lace is so dark, y'all. Like, honestly, I can't even see, like, where I'm putting the freaking lace. I'm going to just pray that it's in the right place. Because that's all I could do at this point. And then I'm going to do this side. Okay, let me get a clamp. Because I really can't see nothing. Okay. Yeah. I really don't know where anything is right now. I'm just going to do a few light taps. I'm really into these type of combs. 
because they just get the job done. Use this side for like my baby hairs and I use this side to like melt when I'm doing this part. Like I really, this part, this type of comb just do it for me, girl. My elastic bands be tripping some days. Don't mind my other ones, they just dope. I should have waxed them, but I shaved them. Plastic band, every time I try to melt, it just be slipping and sliding and all that. It's time to cut this lace. It's time to cut the lace. It's time to cut the lace. It's time to cut the lace. Hey. All right, what we looking like? What we looking like? It's giving scope? No. <laughs> well, that's all right. That's all right, baby. You already know I'm going to get up. So, I'm going to cut right down the middle first. Then I like to get a little section over here. Section over there. Okay. Let me get my razor. Nice and nice. So for those of y'all who don't really like wear wigs and stuff like that, you don't really be knowing why people do certain stuff, you use a razor because you want to get like the natural, to make it look like a real natural like hairline. Um, You know, when you, when you cut the lace off with scissors, it gives you just kind of like that straight, cut because you know we used to cut what i would pay for and stuff like that with scissors in school and what it give you a straight line right so that's why we use a razor to make sure it don't look like no straight line I am about to just play around with these colors and see like what, you know, make it look better. Cause I just don't know. I don't look like neither one of these working, honestly. Oh, oh, okay. It look a little better, y'all. All right, I'm gonna do the brown. I mean, not brown, whatever this is, whatever color this is. What dark lace? What dark lace? A little hair out. This is gonna give me that, that extra melt. I'm gonna take a little hair out all around the lace. I'm gonna spray some got to be all around the lace. Okay, y'all, so I'm spraying got to be on the lace because that's going to help me get that extra melt. Also, the reason why I'm blow drying it after um, is because I don't want, because I'm going to put my elastic band on after I blow dry it, but I don't want the got to be to be sticking to my band. So I blow dried it a little bit first and then put the band on. Oh my God, it's not even that dark anymore, y'all. <laughs> it's not even that dark no more. Oh my God. Let me go through and pluck. I hope this video don't be too long, but anyways, if it is, y'all, you're learning, okay? This might take a little minute, so I'm gonna come back. I'm just literally plucking the hair out, and I'm gonna do that all around the head, and then I'll come back. This is a lot of hair. I just plucked out. And then I'm going to pluck these baby hairs because I don't want them to be thick like at all. Like I want them to be real, real thin. I like to cut mine with scissors for some reason. I don't know. 
I'm gonna put it on a slant, on a sheen. And I told y'all I like to use the back of this comb for my baby hair now. I don't know why I just like it. It's just to work. It just do what it got to do, child. So I just put some on there like that. And I'm just swoop my baby hair. Cool, Lord. Anybody else just get, like, anxiety? Maybe a little bit here. I'ma just swoop it. I'ma just swoop and swoop. A little cute little swoop right here. I'm gonna take one of my little stretchy things and I like to fold it. I just fold it a little. And I'm gonna wrap this up. You wanna make sure you cover it. Fold the baby here. I'm gonna blow dry it. I'm gonna go ahead and mold like my part. Then I'll put some hair like back here, type of thing. I take my wax stick. I got this wax stick um from like my local beauty store. Put that down like that. And it's gonna half comb like on to the way. I'm gonna half comb the sides a little bit. Are they giving? Ow! Ow! You could keep them like this if you want to. That's up to you, CC2, or whatever. I'ma comb them out. This lace so freaking dope. I just can't stand it, chat. I'ma comb them out to give them that fluff. This is like water and like conditioner a little bit in here. I'm gonna take this so I can, um, just to wet the hair up to get the curls back flowing. I'm gonna do a little, uh, uh, like that. Little moose and moose. I like to pluck a little bit of the part in that front part because I just want like a clear part. Wax stick again to get my edges together. I'm just gonna, you know, ain't lady. Do is I'ma take this on my hand like that, rub it, and slip it out. Give it a little shine too, huh? <laughs> I'ma go back in with some of this makeup, this powder, 
do it around the lace again. I'm gonna take a smaller makeup brush like this and I'm gonna pinch it with the makeup and I'm gonna do my part. It's obviously looking crazy. I'm gonna take my red tail comb, put it down on my back, and I'm gonna spray. So this is the finished look, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video today. If this video was helpful to you, give it a big old fat thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we are almost to 5K. Thank you so much to Tanache Hair for partnering with me in this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.